Hugo Vickers has some advice for King Charles. Ahead of the First Empire State Rare Book and Print Fair, the royal biographer reflects on the successes of the king's reign and what interests him most about younger generations. Thirteen months into King Charles' reign, writer Hugo Vickers has a small complaint, His Majesty's oft-reported plan for a smaller monarchy may be unrealistic. I don't know who will do all the work Vickers said in a recent interview. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. People want celebrities or they want the royal family, and they would get a much better deal from the royal family. I can assure you that celebrities are very demanding and unreliable. For nearly half a century, the biographer and broadcaster has been a leading observer of the British aristocracy as it adapted its traditions and worldviews to the modern era. In the 1970s, he tracked down the reclusive Duchess of Marlborough in a mental hospital and turned what she learned in two years of conversations into a biography, which was reprinted in 2021 as The Sphinx, The Life of Gladys Deacon Duchess of Marlborough. Since then, he has documented the royal family, and its relationships through its ups and downs, even sourcing Prince Philip's personal memories for a biography of his mother, Alice, Princess Andrew of Greece. His relationships with courtiers and insight into the daily life of the royal family gave him a unique perspective on the challenges King Charles faced when he ascended the throne. Along with his books, Vickers has become a lecturer who interprets the history and symbolism of the monarchy for Americans, and this has made him one of the institution's most devoted and visible defenders. This weekend he will be one of the keynote speakers at the debut edition of the Empire State Rare Book and Print Fair. Founded by Eve and Edward Lemon of Fine Book Fairs, the event will fill St. Bartholomew's Church in Midtown Manhattan with more than 50 exhibitors and a series of events aimed at exciting a generation of young people about collecting. In a conversation with writer and auctioneer Nicholas Nicholson, Vickers will discuss his views on the future of the monarchy and the late Queen's legacy. In an interview before traveling to New York, Vickers said he knew promoting a hereditary monarchy may seem outdated, but he had seen the benefits firsthand. I know it's unfashionable to promote something that is hereditary, rather than based on merit, but it has great benefits because there is a humility that comes with it. The Queen was very aware that she was only there when he was born by chance, he said, adding that he believed King Charles took a similar approach. I think it works very well. You wouldn't necessarily make it up, but it's there. So far, he gives Charles positive marks for his performance as king, highlighting his energy and the success of his trips to Germany in March and France in September. I think he's doing a good job, and his two state visits abroad have been extremely successful so far, Vickers said. He's a real workaholic. He doesn't really eat lunch. In the evening he has a big dinner, but spends most of his time at his desk. Vickers notes that the work of a monarch takes a long time. It's a bit like being CEO of a company. The problem is, as you know, when you get to the top, you spend your time on administration rather than on what you really want to do. You have to deal with so many problems, she said. He accomplished a lot at this age. Suddenly the boxes arrive and he has to go through them, and he does. But a busy job comes with a lot of responsibilities. Vickers cited one event as an example of the power a monarch must possess to fulfill his role. A few days after the tragic Grenfell Tower fire in June 2017, in which 72 people died, Queen Elizabeth II and Prince William visited the survivors. When she visited the victims, in a way she brought with her all the other places she had been and where there had been great tragedies, 